Blog Talk Radio. Hi, and welcome to Linda's Lounge, Awakening the Consciousness, and I'm your host, Linda Summers, and we have got a fantastic show for you today. Our topic today is Confidence on Camera Now with Jasmine Sirenika, Crystal Singer. And Jasmine, interesting enough, she, um, instead of continuing her career in linguistics, her love of acting convinced her to pursue a life in theater. And then her artistic journey led her to London and then to Paris, where she pursued an MA in theater arts and founded a theater and Baroque Opera Company. Later, she traveled to Sri Lanka and Hawaii, nourished a true calling in the healing arts dedicated to bringing balance to the body, mind, and soul. Jasmine has trained with outstanding teachers all over the globe, and she is also a Yoga Alliance certified yoga teacher, certified soul coach, Soul Coaching Oracle Card Reader, Karuna Reiki Master, and Kaizen Muse Creativity Coach. Ah, oh, lovely. And with that, I want to welcome the ja- Jasmine to our show. Hey. Hi, Linda. Yes. Thank you so much for having me on this show. It's a great honor, and I'm really looking forward to our, our interview today. Oh, me too. And, you know, it's just, I mean, the whole, um, just the idea of the video goddess, um, monetizing your your business through all of this. I mean, it's just very interesting, and it's really interesting as, as well is that and what I find fascinating is going from linguistics to acting and then into the healing arts. So it sounds like yeah. you really followed your heart. I did, and in fact, in my work um, as a uh, a video marketing virtuoso, I really love to inspire my clients to follow their passions. What we love and what we're passionate about, that's the source of our energy, and it's a clue to us about what our real mission is here on Earth, what we're here to give, how we're here to serve. And the video part of it really allows um, divine feminine entrepreneurs to take their message to a bigger level and make a bigger impact. So my journey collecting all of this experience and inspiration uh, along the way I hope can serve as a model for my clients to really go go for gold and make their dreams a reality. Well, and you mentioned about becoming a divine wealth whisperer and video goddess visibility mentor. When you mention when you say divine wealth whispers, can you give our listeners an idea of what that what that looks like? Yes. Um, So in my coaching, um, a lot of the women who come to me have really big missions. They're here to serve a lot of people. Um, But the money piece is in an alignment, and that needs to be there so that they can serve at a higher level, so that they can donate to the causes that they want, so they um, aren't trading their, their hours for dollars. So they really have freedom to do what they love and they have time for their families and for the other things in their lives that they're passionate about. So I really help them um, clear out any limiting beliefs or codes that keep them from um, experiencing wild amounts of abundance and fun. Um, If there's anything that's really signature about working with me, it's that I believe that what we're passionate about and what makes us joyous and jump for joy we have to have that in our business. It has to be fun. Yeah, absolutely. And I love the whisper aspect of it. I think that gives a lot of creativity and really brings a lot of um, a soft and gentleness to it. Yeah, I think clients would say something that's characteristic about me is I'm a really good listener, I'm an empath, I'm intuitive, so I can help them with that whispering mm-hmm. aspect. That just means I help them draw out Um, those hunches, those feelings that are already inside, but that little Mm -hmm. voice of the inner critic or that self-doubt that a lot of us high-achieving women have um, that blocks us, I just help their dream, um, that little whisper, become a full-blown opera, a full-blown aria, just filled with joy so that they listen to that voice and not the voice of self-doubt, which keeps them small and keeps them playing a smaller a smaller game, and in the end, the other people who lose are all of those hundreds of thousands of soulmate clients who are just waiting to connect with their brilliance. Right, and how did you, so how did you, was it something that come into video instead of doing something else, maybe could just, you went the art of something very visible versus something that's just in person. How did you come to do decide you want to do that? 
Right. So, yeah, it is actually kind of interesting how um, I came to find video as, as really being the medium. I personally started out as a total introvert. I remember being a little kid, and I it was so hard for me to connect to other kids. I was really artistic and in my own world, and I remember taking a book one day to a birthday party, and that was probably my lowest moment when it comes to just not being able to break out of my shell. And when I was in Amsterdam in acting school, I realized that as an introvert, acting gave me an outlet to express my feelings, all of my feelings, everything that I had inside. Um, And then when I was working with clients, I was thinking, wow, you know, this would be an amazing tool to help them gain confidence and really, you know, step into who they are. And then I started, you know, watching videos and video marketing and, you know, having some kind of criticism about, you know, how people are doing their videos, how they could be more effective and um, more powerful in video. And then I thought, well, um, you know, don't knock it. (laughs) Try and create something that's going to be empowering, right? So, um, and I just felt, I just felt that I should put all of my talents together and really teach women how they themselves very easily can become um, change makers, influencers, uh, and make a much bigger impact with their work on video. So the video piece is actually great for introverts. You mm-hmm. control, you know, you just can, in a little corner of your home, you create a mini set with very, very minimal, um, uh, you know, pieces of technology that you need. Um, you learn about lighting and, you know, basically how to film yourself. And then also the confidence aspect. Um, as an introvert, it's kind of overwhelming sometimes to sell from the stage or, um, yeah, be in big groups of people. But with video, it's a real divine feminine marketing tool, meaning it can help draw your soulmate clients to you um, instead of you running around trying running out trying to attract them, and with the amazing tool that we have of the internet and keywords and mm-hmm. um, other people's YouTube channels and like your blog talk radio, um, these are all ways that so many clients are going to find um, going to find their amazing you know um, guide through through video through watching their videos. Absolutely. Well, and something that you said said too is like taking your skills, and I just think it's ama- I think it's amazing to take those skills and use them in such a unique way. You know, I mean, you're taking really your acting and you're applying it and helping people through videos, which I think is is awesome. And you also mentioned something else too um, about confidence, but I want to step back and kind of because there's sure. a few other things about cleaning out codes. But so, do you find is it strictly for women? Well, um, I have some I have some tuned in <laughs> guys who have mm-hmm. definitely approached me, and I'd say they're very um, they're very in tune with the divine feminine way of, of doing business. But I would say primarily um, uh, women contact me, and it is Video Goddess Academy. Um, it's not Star Academy or something scary right. like that. It's really that each woman is a goddess. Each woman is divine. And she has amazing talents um, that only she has, and that combination makes her an expert. So, um, yeah, I would say that my uh, the, my group, that my tribe that I'm here to serve, it's definitely um, definitely female entrepreneurs. Some of them are online. Some of them are making the transition to online businesses mm-hmm. for more freedom. Absolutely. And do you find that there's a lot of women out there that are having trouble um, being in front of the camera? I've oh, heard that yeah. before from a lot of other people. So it just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even even people, you know, who are very confident with radio or, you know, they're very confident doing workshops and seminars, the mm-hmm. moment they get put behind the camera, all of those self-esteem issues come up. You know, I've heard it all. Uh, I'm too old. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not pretty <laughs> enough. Uh, I stutter. I uh, My voice isn't good. All of those mm. criticisms that we have about ourselves come up with video, which is why I think it's such a beautiful tool for divine yeah. feminine healing. It's all about self-love, you know, just feeling that love, accepting yourself, beaming that out, creating a bridge from your heart to the heart of your soulmate client. We do a lot of specific exercises and visualization exercises, so people aren't thrown into the deep right away. We we use video as a tool for 
personal healing, and then it really becomes a powerful magnet for making a bigger impact in their businesses and drawing clients so that they can boost their bottom line. Absolutely. So then that kind of leads me to the next um, question is about um, is there a step-by-step process to show them how to do the videos? Because you mentioned that it builds, helps them to build confidence. So I guess it's kind of a, that's a really a two question of what's, is there a step process and then also how do you help them build their confidence? It seems like it would be through the step process somehow. Yeah, um, a lot of kind of programs will address technical aspects or um, just pure marketing aspects. But what makes someone charismatic um, on camera is a really unique alchemy. Um, You know it if you've gone to any movie and you've just seen that the two main characters didn't have chemistry, right? Everybody is sensitive to that. You don't have to be an actor or director to know that. So um, what's going to make you powerful on camera is your confidence, your belief in yourself, your belief in the value of what you're offering, a deep-seated knowingness that who you are and what you're here to do is valuable to the world. Um, And the majority of my clients come to me because the reason they haven't been breaking through with their businesses, the reason they haven't been serving at the highest level possible is because of these self-doubt issues. So um, the step-by-step process that helps them um, is really working on those self-doubt issues, really really reprogramming a way of thinking about themselves that maybe is, you know, pretty entrenched. Uh, So work with um, affirmations. We do a lot of amazing channel journaling. So, in fact, Mm -hmm. using a lot of creative techniques to allow the subconscious mind to create. And when that's happening, um, well, we do some work on on just body confidence. So just a few very simple yoga exercises you can do in your chair just to open up the body and, and make someone appear much, much more at ease on camera. We also work with the voice. A lot of people um, have heard things from, you know, choir directors or in music class or from their parents, like you're talking too loud. So we internalize all of those things. And through work with me, women really gain freedom to rediscover what their voice can do, how they can touch their clients just purely by using their voice. So I would say it's a really amazing, expansive process. Um, that, that benefits the individual, and then, you know, my clients are confident. They don't need tip, drips, tips or tricks or anything like that. They're just purely right. chance what they're here to do. So um, that's what I love when they're in line, when they're purely in alignment with their soul mission. Yes, absolutely, because then you had talked about cleaning out code. So the mm-hmm. listeners may not really kind of know, know what that is. So can you give us? an idea of what cleaning out the coast because that sounds like it's yeah. really part of the process of helping them to build their confidence and to be able to release and unblock. Absolutely. So um, major blocks to self-love are kind of limiting beliefs, you know, psychologists would say. So when I talk about codes, I'm really just talking about limiting beliefs, things that you tell yourself, like my family always had issues with money, so I'll never be rich or I've had problems, you know, um, managing money in the past, so, you know, I can't be rich or I'm not talented, so this isn't meant for me. Some people have an issue around education. Well, I didn't get a university degree, so therefore I'm not an expert. Um, So Mm. there are a lot of those myths, you know, tied to being deserving, but we live in an abundant universe, and we all deserve to be, you know, ridiculously well supported and we have those resources so we're not living in a scarcity universe our illusion is that there's scarcity and our illusion is that we're not enough and by working on replacing those limiting beliefs women start to feel not just believe but feel in their gut and with all their senses what is possible and when you feel it's much easier to believe and when you believe you attract because you're just bringing back what you're attracting. Yeah, right, absolutely, because we can't really think our way to something that's really feeling our way to it. You can't. Totally. It, it's just not, yeah, I mean, even doing affirmations, you can say an affirmation, but if you really don't believe it and feel it within yourself, it's just words. 
Exactly. And so many yeah. of us have been shut off from our feelings. Um, yeah. And our feelings, uh, especially those that are uncomfortable, are our mm-hmm. are most powerful allies to create change in our lives. So we can bring our lives into alignment with what we truly desire. And unless we believe, um, Linda, that we are deserving of that, yeah. it will be really hard. We'll repel opportunities. Um, we'll mm-hmm. keep ourselves small. We'll shoot ourselves in the foot. Um, and I'm speaking from experience. All of that has happened, you know, in my life. I was a very mm-hmm. high-achieving person, but I always could find ways to not take things to the next level or to remain invisible. So when I was able to break out of that and see what was possible for me in life, I really vowed I wanted to do this for other women, other women who mm-hmm. have been where I was, you know, and not so many years ago, and just mm-hmm. show them that, by taking this piece of self-worth and replacing limiting beliefs, believing that you're deserving, creating a clear picture of, of abundance, because I'm sure also in your work, Linda, you've experienced, sometimes people don't allow themselves clarity on right. what it is that they truly desire, because what you want in your yeah. life could be very different from my vision, right? Absolutely, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So clarity is then another, you know, result of working with me um, in the one-on-one, one-on-one VIP coaching. Yeah, and I think Getting clarity on what they key. desire. Yeah, definitely people want to get clarity. So in the mentoring and really the coaching, um, the, the mentoring that you're doing, it's helping them to find their sole purpose. Because you mentioned finding their sole purpose to monetize their magic. Yes. Okay. yes. Um just to give you an example, I'll have women who are maybe even financially successful, but they have branches of their business which are no longer who they are. So right. maybe they're doing all of these different kinds of, like, you know, eyelash extensions or, or this or that. They have different kinds of parts of their business, which for them they don't feel is their core business. For someone else, their whole business would be about eyelash extensions, and that would be great. But they themselves are doing a part of their business because it's making the money. But what mm-hmm. they really want to be doing is something else. And that's such a stretch. It's like a stretch outside their comfort zone that without a guide and without support, um, they're afraid to take the leap and really go for gold and really align yes. with what they're actually meant to be doing. Mm-hmm. Well, that brings us what's up with the, the, the insider tips that you have. You have three insider t- tips for people. So um, do you want to share a little bit about that, reaching more people, direct your dream clients to find you, making more sales? Um, yeah, so those and are I just want to really, people... go ahead, sorry, Linda. Well, I was going to say, too, um, just to kind of throw this out there, how can people get a hold of you? And we'll say this at the end of the show as well, but I just kind of want to, if people want to search right now, can they find you right now if they were listening oh, to the show? Oh, yeah, and that's, to... of course, yes. I'm just revamping my website, so there's going to be a mm-hmm. launch of a whole new website. I'm really excited about that. So for now, the best way for people to reach me uh, would be, um, either they can go to my website, which my current website, which is www.artartangelis.com, um, or maybe the best way uh, to find me and also sign up for a free three-part uh, video series, which will be launched in mm-hmm. just about a month's time, would be to hop mm-hmm. on over to Facebook and just type in Art Angelis. So again, A-R-T-A-N-G-E-L-I-S. And then um, if they just want to type their name and their email address and subscribe to my newsletter, which gives them also a lot of free tips, um, they can they can find all, all about uh, my services. They can also book a perfect. complimentary discovery session. So I'd say that's the best way. Okay, perfect. And then there's, yeah, there's, and you do some many other things as well, too, so they can take a look at that. So, yeah, give us a little bit of information about these insider tips. I mean, it sounds really exciting. Uh, you okay, so, brief? yeah, I just thought I'd give some general um, reasons why mm-hmm. um, video visibility is so important. And actually, I prefer the word video marketing. Um, a lot of the spiritual people, marketing is kind of a dirty term. Um, but yeah. I like to see it as empowering because if people can find your product, they can pay you, meaning you can – be of service at a higher level. So I'm really here to show that video marketing is a good thing and it's not a dirty term. So with video marketing, um, the first tip was is that you can reach more people. And how can you reach more people? Well, 
you can reach more people by really being an expert. So you can give expert how-to tips, right, for people. Right, right. And um, they're looking for these solutions. So the great thing is you're giving them tons of free value. They'll want to subscribe to your YouTube channel. They'll want to follow you. And when you're on video, um, you're also reaching more people because this is the next best thing to working with mm-hmm. you live. People right. get to hear you. They get to see you. They get to feel your energy. Um, so this is, a, this is one of the best ways to reach people. Um, the second tip was to direct your dream clients to find you. So video marketing uh, can help you instead of running around like aimlessly, where am I going to find uh, people who, uh, <laughs> my people, exactly. the people I'm here to serve, you know. No, you're uh-huh. not my people. Where you're not my at? people, right? <laughs> where are they at? Where are they at? Um, they can help. At, you, they, you can uh, literally attract them to you. So you can do that by just very simply when you upload your videos, um, adding, you know, some tag words or even into the name of what your video is. And those would be key words that people who are looking for your services will be mm-hmm. typing in, into Google to find. And another amazing thing is just in a few years' time, more and more sales will be done through video because people, our society is changing, and they want to see you much more than they want to speak about you, right? Like yep. if we have... I agree. A, Right, because it, it, mm-hmm. it's just we have less and less time. Some people do, you know, with our society. So, am I going to read, you know, a five-minute text about someone, or am I just mm-hmm. going to hop on to their relatively short two- to three-minute video? Um, I've got time for it. I get excited about seeing them. They show me exactly what step I need, what action I need to take to work with them. Um, it's it's a very very powerful tool, and people who are getting on. Um, Riding the wave now of video are going to be perfectly primed when more and more sales uh, begin to happen during video. It's just exploding. So this is really the time to make that transition uh, in your business if you haven't yet to using video to reach yeah, your, I have to read, I your read, green reading, reading something where the percentage of all the people are visual. I, I, I don't know the exact percentage. I want to say it was like 70 or 80 something percent, which I thought was really interesting. So I think video really is because it is seeing people, absolutely. And then making more sales. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's the third t- uh, tip is is to make more sales. And the great thing, again, um, is that you can be sleeping. You literally can be sleeping, but if people find your videos or um, they're going through a free course that you're doing with videos, they would be very, very interested in signing up for your higher-end offerings or group programs or Whatever it is that you're um, uh, that you're you're offering in your business, people usually need about six to seven touches with you before they're actually going to buy. But by giving them all of this free value in the how-to videos, um, which is also establishing you as an expert, um, you can be sleeping and on vacation. People watch your videos and they're directed to your programs, and and they'll want to sign up because they you have created trust with them. They, you have shown them that you're consistently giving value to them. So you've really created a relationship. And the amazing thing is you can touch people all over the world. Someone can walk up to you and say, you changed my life. That YouTube mm-hmm. video gave me hope. And mm-hmm. I think everybody who's in a heart entrepreneur, a soul entrepreneur, um, that's what we want. We want people's lives to be better. And video is an amazing tool to allow us to do just that. Mm-hmm. Well, and I hear you saying really through our whole um, show that it's really about showing up as you, but it, it's finding that essence of yourself and bringing that forth and through video. And in in finding your essence, it's finding your passion as well as what you're helping them do. And then you're just taking that to video so they can monetize their magic. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think... Um, where a lot of people get discouraged, um, some clients work with me after they've done other programs. Um, there are a lot of programs which provide very powerful and very effective mm-hmm. templates, but my clients don't feel like cookie cutters, like they're yeah. the same as everybody else. And yeah. they want to make sure that they're creating videos which are unique to them, um, that yeah. honor them. Some of them are very introverted, some of them are shy, some of them are you know, really peaceful. 
and they want mm-hmm. their videos to be effective, so they don't want to be wallflowers, but they also don't want to look like everybody else. So um, that's why the one-on-one coaching and the different creative exercises we do allows them to create scripts and create videos that are authentic to them, resonate with them, so they don't Mm -hmm. look everybody else on video. Yeah, I love it. I love it. We've got about four minutes left, so I wanted to have people be able to know again where to reach you and if you could share one gem that really made a difference in your life as well with the audience, that would be great. If you want to go ahead and give your information again on how they can reach you um, and know more about the other modalities that you're doing and how they can get started with you, you want to give them some more yes. information on your website again, that would be great. Yeah, of course. So um, just repeating, so my name again is Jasmine Srinik, a crystal singer. And I'm a divine wealth whisperer, and I'm also a video marketing virtuoso, and I'm here to help all of you high-achieving female entrepreneurs make a huge impact in the world and also boost your bottom line through video marketing. Um, To find out about me, to get a lot more free tips, um, and to sign up for my newsletter, which is called um, The Siren Secret Scroll you can hop on over to Facebook and then just type in Art Angelis, A-R-T-A-N-G-E-L-I-S. Um, if you're really interested in getting a good feel of how video marketing could work for you personally um, and talk about your personal fears uh, and, and the pain you have um, that's surrounding kind of lack of visibility and hesitation that you feel about moving to video I'd love just to have a complimentary call with you. And you can do that also via Facebook by clicking on Book Now, and you can book a 30-minute complimentary session with me, um, which will leave you really with uh, a kind of a map as to you know where to go next. Um, and if there's anything I'd just love to share with your listeners, Linda, it's you are put here for a divine purpose. And you have a unique alchemy of talents and gifts that is here to reach and touch the hearts of millions of people. And so by showing up in a big way and making a big impact, you can experience joy that you have not even been able to dream of. And I wish this for every single woman out there. So um, mm-hmm. that's my prayer and that's my blessings um, to you and to and to your listeners today. Oh, well, thank you so much. So anyone that's listening, uh, everyone that's coming to the show after this, if you can get a chance to listen, um, Jasmine, Sarah, and Mika, um, the crystal singer, which I hope I pronounced your right. It's kind of... Yeah, you did a great you know, job. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm just like, oh, my gosh, okay. Uh, Divine Wealth Whisper and Video Goddess Vis- Visibility Mentor, you can reach her, listen to the the show today, find out and get her website, call her. Um, you know, you can start um, monetizing your own uh, your own magic through video, and uh, yeah, she can help you through that. So, well, we want to thank everyone for being on the show today and listening. If you were calling in and just listening to the show, and we especially want to thank Jasmine for coming to the show today and joining us. Thanks, Jasmine. It was really a pleasure having you today. And, it was um, such a pleasure you. to be here. Thank you so much, Linda, for having me. Uh, well, thank you. And then join us next week for April 2nd, 2015, for our next show on One Day, One Moment in Time. So with that, we thank everybody, the listeners and Jasmine and everyone. Thank you for being on the show. Have a wonderful thank day. Thanks.